Hey peeps, in today's video, we'll be integrating a Lightburn camera into our Momport EFFI 9S 90 watt laser engraver. A huge thanks to Momport for sending us this laser, and if you're interested in this powerful 90 watt machine or any Momport machine, make sure to use our discount code ANONYMOUS10 for 10% off at checkout.
Now after installing this Lightburn camera, here are some of our initial thoughts. Now I think installing a camera on your laser is a worthwhile investment. It allows you to get the most out of your material by being efficient in positioning your objects that you're cutting out or engraving in the existing space in pre-used material. This of course allows you to get the most out of any material that you put in there. Now additionally, it saves time in pre-positioning your object in your workspace as well as your material in your laser because you can just use the image that the camera outputs to position what you need. Now installing this camera was actually pretty simple. Uh, again, with a large industrial laser, there's a lot of access to the machine that you don't normally get with a desktop laser. So with just a few cable ties and some wire management, we were able to get this cleanly installed as if it came from the factory. Now, I also do appreciate that we were able to use the Momport's wire management tracks to install it so it looks professional. It looks like it was installed from the factory, at least on the cabinet side with the motherboard. Now, I will say with the kit that we got, you will need to purchase some additional materials in order to make this work the way that we made it work. So first of all, you will either need to 3D print or purchase the camera mount that again, you could purchase from Lightburn or you can just download the file and 3D print yourself like we did. Additionally with that, if you would like to take advantage of the existing USB thumb drive port on the side of the mom port machine, you will need to buy some accessories such as this female to female USB adapter. Additionally, you will want to get another USB data cable to connect that port to your computer. Now, do you need that? No, you could also install it in a way where you can plug the USB port directly into your computer. Of course, it's not gonna be as clean as the way that we have our camera installed. Now, a future concern of mine is the fact that this camera is installed onto the lid of our machine with moving parts. Now, you never know how accurate that camera is going to remain over time, but again, it's something we will keep track of. But so far, we've had pretty consistent results and the camera has been spot on within a millimeter of the image. And of course, we showed you how to calibrate and align that camera. If it does get out of alignment, you could just do that alignment and calibration process again and you should be spot on. Now overall, in my opinion, this is a worthwhile upgrade and investment to this incredible Momport machine. If you're interested in any of the files or products we use in this video, we'll try to have the links to them in the description. Also, once again, if you're interested in a Momport machine, make sure to use our discount code ANONYMOUS10 for 10% off your purchase. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay crafty!